Bulavanaka. I'm just watching the sun go down. Another beautiful day in Fiji. Banger Island. Probably my last day here. I'm not sure. We'll just see. See what tomorrow brings. Just spent the whole day just being, meditating, um, swimming. Just spent a long, long time just looking into a rock pool. And some people might say I've been doing nothing, but uh, I met a guy last night at the resort here from Eastern Europe. So he lives in Sydney now, and um, he's just he been talking a little bit and just hearing about my blog. And, and he's realised the insanity of his life. He's got two kids and stress, and he's got keeping four cars going, business. Well, we've got a visitor. And um, yeah, so I, you know, I might be doing nothing, but I think that that's doing nothing. You know, just feeding the machine, just stressing, dying, teaching your kids to do the same. It's, yeah, I, I was that, so no more. But um, just finished a book um, called "Woman in the Wilderness." Um, Miriam Lancewood or somebody, a Dutch girl in in New Zealand just walked in the wild, I think four or six years, something like that, and um, with a partner, Peter. And um, yeah, interesting book, lots of little insights into her journey to find herself, you know. She talked about this experience she had one day where she just had such clarity and everything, just like looking into a different dimension, she connected with everything. And um, she couldn't put it into words, but she tried, and she did a pretty good job of it. Nice little book. But um, that's pretty much the state I live in full time, really, when I'm away from the world and just drifting free. And Yeah, when I'm in town, I get infected by other people's energies and thoughts. And I actually, she mentioned that too when she met people. She, yeah, it was really interesting to hear her take on it too, you know. And... Um, but yeah, it's just, just how I choose to live now. Just connected with nature, connect with everything, and certainly connected with myself. And um, so I've got a poem about that. I might share it with you before the sun goes down. It's called Robotic Shell. I realise that this was written in 2010. So back then I was living in this high frequency state, realised that I, I wasn't a body, I had a body. Uh, useful at times but uh, it got in the way at times so anyway robotic shell I peer out of two holes in a robotic shell that goes and stops and sleeps when I tell I look up to the sky I love what I see it's infinite light and it's spirit it's me look down to the river down to the sea it's free and it flows and it knows it is me I look away across the earth, the turf and the tree, the birds and the bees and the fish, they are me. Fly up to the planets, the stars, galaxy, miracles, creation, I know they are me. I close my eyes, my surprise, connected I feel. When we all come together, at last we will heal. Modern society has to separate and isolate and and insulate from nature, we rub it for soul shoes and just cut off from our spirituality, from who we really are, you know, and uh, yeah, and I know the damage that does, you know, my using the mental health system and uh, they told me I'm, me I'm pills for the rest of my life and guess what, I ain't. So um, anyway, I'm going to watch the sun go down and do it all again tomorrow, so hopefully see you then, have a good one, bye.